It's the hot pot of the moment. Or so say its fans, the all-in-one pot that does nearly everything. So, of course, Martha Teichner just had to try it out. Have years of holiday must-haves haunted your kitchen like the ghosts of Christmas's past? Dial from sliced to diced, fast, easy, and sliced onions become diced by the panful. Which ones are still on your counter? And which ones have been consigned to that graveyard of gadgets, the garage? I'm going to make tamarind ribs. Well, here's the latest, the multi-cooker. In the last 12 months, Americans have bought 2.6 million. The reason they're the subject of New York Times food writer Melissa Clark's new cookbook. It doesn't slice and dice. What it does do is exile even more electronics to the garage. It is a yogurt maker. It is a rice cooker. It will steam things. It'll saute things. But as they say on late night television, wait. There's more. It's an electric pressure cooker. It is a slow cooker. In theory, this one device... I see. One, two, three... ...upends centuries of culinary specialization. These examples from the collection of the late Chuck Williams of Williams-Sonoma. If you were to pick this up, you'd see it's very, very heavy. So, um... Yeah, it's... it's you're right. Chef Bill Brewa is an instructor at the California branch of the Culinary Institute of America. If I could get rid of eight or ten pots and just have one, that, that seems like a trade-off that somebody might be willing to make. Maybe not me. Gone. Pressure cookers like these. They look like not... instruments of torture. Exactly <laughs> right. Here, for example, you know, three separate thumb screws that have to be opened independent of one another before you can lift this lid off, and there's really nothing that will keep you from opening it while it's under pressure. So it could kill you. Well, uh, yeah. Do you think it's trying to tell us something? They were famous for exploding. <laughs> Even in the movies. Lingering terror and convenience made home cooks opt for slow cookers. The Daxon Beanery was something my father invented, I believe, in around 1930. Meet Lenore Naxon, daughter of Irving Naxon, whose electric bean cooker was inspired by his Lithuanian Jewish mother's stories of her childhood. On Friday afternoons, as the ovens were being turned off for the Sabbath, they would put the crock in the ovens, and then when Shabbat was over Saturday night, they would have their Saturday evening dinner. The beanery was one of over 200 inventions Naxon patented before eventually selling his company to rival. So they changed the branding, they called it the Crock-Pot, and it exploded. Figuratively, that is, not like pressure cookers. They're safe now. So Melissa Clark's philosophy is why cook slowly when you can cook fast. We don't pressure cook food enough because we're afraid of it. And so this takes the fear out of it, and it gets fantastic result for certain foods. What does it do not so well? Crispy. People will say, oh, let's do a whole chicken in the Instant Pot. Basically, it's a steam pressure cooking method. So the steam makes the skin turn floppy, unappetizing. But tamarind ribs? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. After less than an hour in sweet. the Instant mm -hmm. Pot. The honey and the tamarind. Is this going to end up in the graveyard of kitchen gadgets? I got rid of my yogurt maker. I got rid of my slow cooker. Rice cooker is probably on the way out too, but this guy's gonna stay on my counter.